Hey guys, Psycho here again. Now today I'm going to show you guys different uh, grade levels of circuit boards. Everything from the low class CRT boards to the uh, high grade laptop boards. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so starting off, this is uh, what I classify as a low grade board. Now this is out of a CRT TV. Uh, generally there's not a whole lot to take off of these. Mostly just your uh, some copper spools or whatever. There are some transformers that you can take off and sell them separately. But I leave them on, I sell them as is. Uh, sometimes there's aluminum though they could be steel at times as well. Uh, some IC chips, some crystal or crystal oscillators that might be on this as well. But generally, on a low grade board, they're generally uh, yellow in color. They might have one side green, but pretty crappy boards. Uh, power boards, again, fall under that category, but generally they'll have some aluminum, some of the spools of copper, which you can take. It's clean copper. Uh, some wires. Again, I put that in the low grade category just because there's not. Other than the aluminum and copper, there's not much worth in it. Uh, this is what I consider a medium grade board. Now this would be out of a satellite receiver or one of those DVRs or whatever. Generally, you'll have a BGA chip, which has got the gold little gold tag there. These are nice. Uh, this one here has the crystal oscillator with a gold line on it, so that's the high grade one. And of course, you're going to have lots of little, little chips here everywhere. I see chips and flat packs, which I'll take as well. And of course, you take these covers off and see if there's anything in there, any goodies. I know generally these don't have like good oscillators in them, but I did take one apart, and it had one like this in it with the gold plating on the bottom. Now, I don't know if that's real gold plating or not. I can't really confirm it, but. From what I researched, it is, and there'd be there's gold in this one that you can recover, whereas one like oh well, that's another gold one right there, something like this is is uh, there might be there's some silver in it, not gold, so so that's a medium grade board. This is what I consider to be a high grade board. Now this is out of an old uh, Apple computer from the early '90s. I think it was like '92. I tried to sell it on eBay, it didn't sell, so I'm going to scrap it down. But this board has got lots of little, lots of IC chips, flat packs, a couple big crystal oscillators here, again another row of chips here, and it's got some tantalum capacitors, which is always nice, there's a couple here, uh, another one over here, which is, it's nice to see, you know, I just started actually uh, putting crystal, or uh, not crystals, uh, Tantalum capacitors. I have one lonely one in there because generally the lower grade stuff doesn't have those, so I don't see too much of them. I uh, flip this over. Yeah, not too much on the back. Again, another little tantalum there. Now this is a more modern board from a, a newer computer. Now there's a BGA chip under here, some aluminum from the heat sink as well. Uh, there's a crystal there, and there's one there. Uh, there's also some MLCCs you can take, which is why I consider this a more high grade board because there is a lot more on it. Um, some gold pins in here as well. And of course there's gold, you know, here and here and here and here. So there's there's a lot of value in these. And you can see the gold as well here. So these are really nice to get. I like getting computer stuff because it is, you know, better bang for your buck. And like this is like desktop stuff. But the real money is in laptops, guys. Because laptops are compact and they gotta fit more stuff on a smaller board. So if you look at these uh, at this one, we already got some MLCCs, another row up here. We got some more here, some more here. Uh, there was a CPU, I took that out already. Another one there. 
there's some bigger tantalum capacitors and then when you get down here there's they're just huge uh, be another BGA chip another one there that's the graphics card or not the graphics card the graphics whatever you want to call it chip flip it over again you get some more ICC's I think these are tantalum capacitors too they're just black I'm not 100 percent sure but I believe they are and of course you got another chip there and there's just it's just a it's just goodies everywhere when it comes to laptop boards this one is really nice you got three chips right in a row you got tons of really nice big thick MLCCs even look at these ones they're huge if you had you know a couple thousand of them you're looking at some good money uh, you flip it over another chip so there's four BGA chips on this one board alone um, like I said I don't know if those are tantalum capacitors or not but looks like it some crystal oscillators with the gold around the rim or the ring right there High, highest grade you can get take those get some gold plating on these connectors here more gold plating some more chips some more MLCC's like I say just so much stuff and that's why like companies are willing to give you four dollars a pound for these because this weighs half a pound even if they said okay it's it's a full pound they'll give you four dollars but there is well worth more than four dollars worth of gold on this alone not counting anything else that you get so they're they're really ripping you off on something like this the uh, last little board I have again same same deal there's you know MLCC's crystal oscillators with the gold around them like I said they're, they're just the gift that keeps on giving huge tantalum capacitors like I think these are going for like sixteen dollars a pound for these I'm not 100% sure don't quote me guys but I believe that's what I last read so you know, there's lots of money's worth. Another BGA chip, little tiny one. So that's why I consider these like maybe your your very high extreme value because you're getting everything. When I find laptops in scrap or whatever, I get happy just for that reason. Uh, hard drive boards have some stuff on them too. Uh, MLCCs. Flat packs, you know, some gold fingers at the top. Cell phones generally have a lot of uh, gold plating. Like you can see on the top, it's all gold, all gold. You got your gold on the back. Like I say, there's lots. That's, that's, you know, that's beautiful. There's a lot of gold trace on this one. Gold on the uh, keypad. Same with that one, a lot of gold. This might be fake gold because it kind of is a little different looking, but it might be real. It's hard to say. So that's basically all the boards. Everything from low grade to high grade. I do have some of the chips laid out. And I'll go over them too. Like your IC chips right here. Now, some of these are going to have gold plating on them. I don't know if that'll focus or not, but there's gold plating on that wire. No, it's not going to focus. But some chips are just going to have this little piece like that, and there's probably no gold in this one. So it's kind of a hit and miss. Obviously, the one like this is probably from the lower grade board, and the one with the gold uh, trace on it is probably from a board like this. So something to keep in mind. You got like little chips from like RAM and stuff that you take. Your flat packs. Which I believe has gold bond wire in it as well. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't busted one of these open yet. So I'm not. not I can't confirm it. Uh, these BGA chips that I was talking about. This is one. You can see the gold wire. Now this wire. I don't know if you can see see how it, like there's wire you can see like the grooves where it, it leads up to the edge of the chip. Now that's all solid gold wire. And this is probably another good one to give you a good 
example is this wire travels out and this is why some people argue what's the best method to recover gold whether it be with acids or with you know gold panning these chips here if you were to grind them down and pan them you will get the gold out because it is solid gold it's not big nuggets or whatever but it is gold wire and it will sink it will be the heaviest thing in the pan uh, whereas chips like this that have gold plating you can't pan this you need to have the acids to remove the coating off of the uh, metal that it's on so realistically if if you don't have the gear right then and there it it makes more sense to just go straight acid and you could do everything as opposed to buying a thing to mill up the chips and stuff and then getting the gold that way because I've watched a couple videos where a guy will take this and he'll grind it all up and he'll pan it out and he'll have a nice bit of gold and it works there's no chemicals needed it's a simple process and it works and for those who say you lose more than what you get in your pan that's bullshit all right any gold prospector that goes out in the in the wild and pans gold will tell you that it doesn't matter if it's a micron like the gold flakes that I find are so small that it's like it's like a speck of dust and I have no trouble recovering that so to, to get gold like that that I can actually physically see like really easily you're gonna have no trouble to recover that so that's my opinion on it I know some people are gonna disagree but in my experience I say panning would work and I watched the video of a guy doing it and he had a lot of gold in his pan so if his recovery was even if it was 10% like somebody said he wouldn't have had what he had so it's bullshit guys you can do it but if you're gonna spend money on stuff go with acid right off the bat so you can do everything that's just my two cents uh, I have more chips here I'm gonna fill this bag before we start worrying about acids and stuff but I do have you know a few of them saved up because that is your money maker uh, and I'll show you guys a couple other things of course you're gonna save up a bunch of screws and stuff but here's some gold plating that I got uh, stuff out of like printer ink cartridges they got some plating on it your fingers off of your video cards and stuff like that underneath is like all the little pins and stuff that I get off of boards or got their video cards, they or not video cards, the uh, internet, like connection, inter ethernet cards, let's call them. The, uh, like, this, these are all gold pins and I take them because they're easy to get. Then I put them here, again, I gotta use acid to get this off. I know I seen somebody, I think it was E-Waste Ben or whatever, where he, he ran the hot iron across it. But when he ended up like making the bar out of it, it was like 70, 80% copper and 20% gold or something like really like small amount of gold. So, I mean, you could do it that way, but it's it's kind of a waste because then you're going to have to uh, break it all down and get the gold out later anyways. Uh, again, my crystal oscillators here, normal crystals, silver and gold. I don't know how to get the gold out of these yet, so I'm just stockpiling them. I don't have a ton, but I'm getting there. Same goes for my MLCCs. I'll probably sell these as is, but you never know. I might try to get a recover more out of them. I started separating my brass because I started getting a little bit of it. There's not a whole lot in there, but I, it was enough that I decided to separate it. Uh, I'm going to fill this coffee cup, oh, whatever you want to call it, tin, whatever, full of chips before I decide to uh, try to do any gold recovery. Just because I want <clears throat> an efficient amount before I go and spend the investment money on acids and stuff. Hydrochloric acid for like a, a two liter of that, I think it's like $14, which is not too bad, but I don't know what the other acids are going to cost. So, I gotta see, but I figure 
a gram of gold would cover it. So if I can get a gram of gold out of all these, it'll make it worth it, which I should get out a gram of gold out of just what I have for these kind of chips. Should, in theory. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, and again, I just got some stuff that I stockpiled up because I, I hate doing these. They're so annoying. And they just kind of... I started doing them. I still got some left to do. And I just got to get through them. That's why I kind of slowed down at uh, bringing more stuff in. Because I had TVs stacked up here. And I just I just finally got my head cleaned out a little bit. So I got to finish up what's there. And, you know, move on to the next, uh, the next uh, load of stuff. Uh, finishing the video off. I know it's getting long, guys. Bag of copper. My bear bright. It's starting to get. Eh, it's probably five to ten pounds in there, maybe, roughly. I started another bag for my rose copper, just because I didn't want to mix it. And my number two copper, which is just crap copper, even though it's probably not number two. It's got like all this shit and stuff mixed in with it. So that stuff all will be smelting down in the bars just to clean it up it'd be worth a lot more than giving it away for like a dollar fifty a pound like I say this here would be worth a dollar it makes no sense to sell it like that insulated wire stuff that you don't want to fuck with you don't want to burn it to get the little copper that's in it so just sell it as is my it's uh, thicker copper that's worth actually stripping I gotta get to it. Same with cleaning all this copper up. I still haven't done it yet. And of course, I, I know some of you guys were asking about when we're gonna start doing smelting videos. Uh, the big reason why I haven't started yet is I just gotta get all the gear and I gotta come up with the money to do it. So I've been just stockpiling metals like aluminum. Aluminum is pretty easy to actually melt. I'll probably make my own little uh, like container and stuff to. Uh, to put stuff in and then all you really need is a uh, fire with like a fan blowing in it just to make it hot enough <coughs> and then we'll make some aluminum bars we'll use an actual bar style uh, muffin tin <laughs> some people use the round ones I prefer to use the square ones and that's generally everything that I got going on here guys it didn't take me long to build up any amount of stuff and to be honest you can probably do three times what I've done because I probably spend one or two days a week at it and I don't really stay consistent so like I say you can amass more than this but so far I like what what everything is it's fun it's something you know to do and if you can make money at it why not I really can't wait to see what the gold looks like in all these Hopefully it's worthwhile. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up because it helps me, you know, get noticed. It helps me grow my channel, and I'm really thankful for those who do that. Uh, comment as well because that helps you get exposure. Uh, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, and let me know what you want to see because, you know, my channel is everything. It doesn't have to be scrap videos. We still can do gaming videos, we could still do car reviews, we could do anything, like I'm not, you know, I'm not down to one niche, I, I just, I don't care, I'll do whatever, so it's whatever you guys want to see, let me know, uh, and as always guys, thank you for viewing.